The Bay Area has long been known as a vast blue canvas in terms of political leanings. That hasn't changed, but the presidency of Donald Trump might be amplifying this. Yeah, the Bay Area has been seen as enemy territory for President Trump, and his supporters say it's difficult to openly express and show that they are behind him. For an area that has long been viewed as pretty accepting to most, is that true for the Trump supporters? And if not, why not? Cron Force Diane Thorne takes a look. The Bay Area is well known for its acceptance of all different kinds of people. It's the birthplace of the counterculture. Boasts the oldest Chinatown and Japantown, and it's the unofficial gay capital of the world. But despite the Bay Area's all kinds are welcome mentality, how accepting are we really to supporters of President Donald Trump? On a scale of one to ten, one. Very little. When he's not playing his violin, Peter Quo is a venture capitalist in the Silicon Valley. Quo is just a few months into his new job as vice party chair of the California Republican Party. He's also an ardent supporter of President Trump. I don't understand about our culture, especially America, is so tolerant and, and understanding of opposite ideas. And yet, when they see this red hat, everything changes. Quo says life as a Trump fan in the Bay Area is pretty hostile. <laughs> if people know that I'm a Trump supporter, they will not only um, physically attack me, they will um, frame me on Facebook, they say a lot of things that it's utterly crazy nowadays, you know. Here in the Bay Area, much of the controversy surrounding Trump supporters involves this hat. Many of us know what it says, simply make America Again. But what is it about this message? Isn't this just a hat? Or is it something more? In January, a San Mateo restaurant owner said anyone wearing the red Make America Great Again hat would be refused service. The restaurant owner compared the MAGA hat to a Nazi swastika or the white hoods worn by the KKK. In April, an elderly man was berated for wearing his Trump hat at a Palo Alto coffee shop. The woman who confronted the man said that hat represents hate towards brown people. And it was just days before that, police say a San Francisco man wearing a MAGA hat slashed another man with a sword for knocking off his cap. SFPD shared these pictures of blood on the curb with the bright red hat laying nearby. When I see that hat, I honestly just worry about my safety. Like that is the first and foremost concern. Zara Ballou is the executive director of the San Francisco Bay Area Council on American Islamic Relations, also known as CARE. Ballou says people who wear the MAGA hat represent a president who negatively targets people of her community and other people of color. When I see someone wearing the MAGA hat, what I see is an endorsement of the white nationalist agenda that President Donald Trump has put forward both through his words and his actions. It's free to wear this hat. It's a, it's a symbol of United States, a symbol of, 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 of our greatness. Former District 10 candidate for state Senate and MAGA supporter Victor San Vicente says race has nothing to do with it. People should be proud of wearing this hat. Instead of, instead of trying to, to, to uh, criticize it. Tech entrepreneur Kevin McGarry agrees. He says people shouldn't be confused by his support of President Trump. He says opposers of the president like to label and box others in. You know, you're, you're black. You need to be in this particular box. And because you're not in this box, because you're free thinking and you, you think through these things and you're actually supporting a president that we don't support, we're going to violate your civil rights. We're going to, you know, bully and abuse you and your friends and neighbors. McGarry says he just wants to be able to support the president without facing any backlash. Uh, just because we may disagree, just because we wear, uh, you know, paraphernalia that, 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 that may in some cases be offensive to other people, why can't those people just ignore it? You may not agree, but just, just continue to walk. We're not doing anything, we're just wearing a cap. But Ballou argues the antagonism is usually done by Trump supporters, not the other way around. It is not Trump opponents who are in the streets committing hate crimes. It is Trump supporters who are in the streets committing hate crimes. After contacting Bay Area police departments and looking up the latest FBI hate crime statistics, we found there are no specific records kept of MAGA hat related attacks. 
there is no basis for for their fear. Fear or not, these three Trump supporters say they're sticking with President Trump and they'll be working to get him reelected in 2020. Reporting in San Francisco, Dan Thorne.